Let's talk of melatonin as a fertility supplement. Is it useful? Like COQ10, it is an antioxidant, and there's some promising research suggesting that it may support reproductive outcomes, especially in women with poor equality or exposed to oxidative stress. It is thought that melatonin helps to protect eggs from oxidative damage, which can be specifically beneficial in IVF. Now, several studies have suggested that melatonin can improve oocyte quality and even increase pregnancy rates, especially when combined with other supplements, including COQ10. The other question is, what dose do we give it? Typically, the doses used in research range from 3 to 5 milligrams, which often aligns with a lot of people, what people are using. In some IVF clinics, melatonin at those doses becomes a standard role and a standard part of the protocol which women are given to, especially in women with diminished ovarian results. Now, another thing which we have been looking at is many practitioners continue to explore this pairing with antioxidants and other factors to try and see whether it helps oocyte output and fertility outcome. So the question is, how does melatonin work? And that is again something which we need to understand. We think it works in several ways to support ovarian function, particularly by reducing oxidative stress. Here's, let's put it in a much more simple way and how it works on the ovaries. One, antioxidant properties. It's a powerful antioxidant and ovaries and eggs are very sensitive to oxidative stress, which occurs when there is an imbalance between free radicals, which are unstable molecules, bright products of metabolism and antioxidants. Free radicals damage cells, including damaging eggs. Melatonin, we think, is a powerful antioxidant, meaning it neutralizes these free radicals, reduces oxidative stress that can harm egg quality. Second, it may work as an improved mitochondrial function. Now, what are these? Eggs require energy, which is produced by mitochondria. What are these? These are batteries or powerhouses of cells and melatonin helps to improve mitochondrial function allowing them to produce more energy and rather more energy effectively this increased energy is important for egg maturation and development especially at women age and those with a poor ovarian response it may play a part in regulation of follicular development inside the ovaries as eggs mature in fluid-filled sacs uh, called follicles and these have follicular fluid and we think that some of this in, in this fluid there's some amount of melatonin and by supplementing uh, melatonin you may be supporting the overall health of the follicular environment leading to an improved egg quality now this is something which we try to improve during IVF Finally, we think that it reduces apoptosis, which is cell death, and melatonin also has a protective effect against apoptosis or programmed cell death, which means in ovaries, it may help to preserve health as well as viability of developing eggs, which might be lost due to oxidative damage or stress. And so there's a lot of mention of understanding oxidative damage or stress, and that's very much still in research. To sum it up, we think that melatonin may help by protecting eggs from oxidative damage, enhancing energy production of cells, improving a healthy environment in the follicles and preventing premature egg death. Now, this is beneficial mainly in women with a low reserve and sometimes in poor responders and as women get older. The question is, why is it then not used across the board because the research is inadequate. Many studies are individual studies and lack clarity. 
and many studies contain combination of different supplements we just don't know which supplement works so in in summary though we think that it may be beneficial it seems that the evidence there is still lacking often confused by mixture and mixing of various anti uh, antioxidant supplements but as time goes by we may get a better idea thank you